We've got our Funky Junk Old Sign stencil so right here. Ensure the piece is perfectly flat. Come along, lay your tape down, and then just take a fingernail and just run it through that small stripe there. Now I also want to point out that I'm not going to come right to the edge when I stencil. What I'll do is I'll take a little brush and I'll just come around this um, detail here in the end. So one more piece of tape and then we can get started with our paint. Just right there. I'm just going to pounce right up and down. Now this is going to need several coats to cover. The trick to getting crisp edges is to apply the, uh, the paint to the dabber and then just dab it off onto some paper towels so that it's dry. And then we're going to continue on. The paint I'm using today is called Breakthrough and it dries relatively fast. I started the top earlier and it's already starting to dry. Now I'm not going to come too close to the bottom edge because I do have detail work there that I have to get around. A little paint goes a long way. Okay, at this point I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to come back and I'm going to lift my tape here and continue on this thin line so that I can get the rest of that. And um, then I'll probably do a second coat in the middle too. So. I'm switching over to a foam brush and I've dabbed in and then I've got my dry brush going here. And I'm just going to come along and pounce up and down. And this gets into these fine lines here. Make sure you get right into the corners. Okay, so I'm at the point where I'm going to lift the tape that's holding down the pinstripes here just to hold it flat. And what I've done is I've replaced it with tape that's coming around this way. So I can lift it and complete that stripe. So I'm just going to pull it off. Put that aside. Same with here. And these last two pieces here. And then we're going to connect the dots, so to speak. Okay, I think we're good to go. So I'm dabbing into my paint, getting the brush good and dry. Now I'm going to come along and just keep my finger there. This part's a little tricky. Come back in with more paint, dry it off, and again you want to be sure that this is flat against your work. Actually I think this is pulling a little bit. Let's just release this. Just want to be sure that you're holding it taut against the chair so that nothing can seep under. And this is where patience is a virtue because you're putting on very little paint. It's just going on dry. You can always come back and do a few more coats if you want. I'm going to leave that part for now. Now we're going to come down and we're going to do the ends. So again, you're putting downward pressure. Coming in with your dry brush and continuing the stripe. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna let that dry. I am gonna come back and do a second coat on these pieces that I lifted the tape on. But for now, that's gonna be a wrap. 
looking pretty good. I don't think I want it any darker than that. I still want a bit of a faded look. I don't want it to look too crisp because it is an old antique chair. Okay guys, there it is. To finish this off, I've taped around the carved detail here. And I've got this stiff bristle brush. I'm just going to dab it into the paint. And as I've done before, I'm going to offload it so that it's a dry brush. And then I'm just going to come in and lightly stipple. So the detail is just about finished. I use a stiff brush just to stipple into these edges here. Now the last step is to just lightly sand the milk paint. I'm ready for the finish and what I'm using is this natural hemp oil by Homestead House. So I'm going to get a glove on. And I'm just testing this out on the seat. Uh, tomorrow morning if all works well I'm going to come back and do the remainder of the chair. There we go. Put the lid back on. Now you don't have to worry about going with the grain when you put the hemp oil on. You can just spread it any which way you like. And look how it brings out the color. Now if you want you can just wipe off the excess but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try wet sanding. So this is 320 grit. So what I have here is just a microfiber cloth. Wipe away the excess. And it leaves a really smooth buttery finish. Hemp oil takes a full one month to cure, um, but as it's drying and curing over that time, you can come back with your cloth, and if you notice any sort of wet spots, that's the oil releasing, and you can just perhaps once a week come back and just wipe it down. So I'm going to leave this, I'm starting to lose light, and then tomorrow we're going to come back and we're going to finish the rest of the chair. Rub it with the hemp oil, and look how it brings up that red. come across the detail. Make sure you get into every nook and cranny along the sides a little bit underneath there. It's not really necessary to wet sand this because I didn't use milk paint on the stripe itself. I'm just going to come across here. And I love how I've got some of the black showing through. If you want you can distress even further and have black coming through you know, on the sides here if you like. You can just take, you can see there that I've got some black coming through. So you can just kind of hit the edges as you wish. And it really doesn't take much just to smooth this out. And this is just an added step. This is optional. You don't have to do the wet sanding. But I prefer to do it. And look how beautiful that is. It just brings out all the richness of the color.